guys, right now we are on the boardwalk in Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. Alex and I feel like being kids today, we really never go to the amusement park here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on the Ferris wheel, a few rides. We're probably not gonna do the cyclone because to be honest, we're a bunch of wusses and we really don't like roller coasters that much. And it's soak in this beautiful sun. Excited to see what this day brings us. Go figure. The one thing that we wanted to go on so desperately was the Wonder Wheel and the gates are closed. <laughs> Our luck. Whatever. Let's go on the shoot. Alright, we'll go on something else. We'll make the best of this. of the whole like amusement park is closed. A lot of the food places are not open. A lot of just the games are closed. We're just gonna make the best of our time here. That is the original one, not the one I went to the food court at the mall the other day. That was god awful. <laughs> Walking on the pier right now. This is our first time over here and the breeze feels incredible. Kind of reminds me of Santa Monica when we were on that pier. It's really nice out here. So we're gonna walk all the way to the end. I'm gonna throw my memories away Now I feel I'm done And I am cursed by every day Till my time is gone I've never felt this way before And now I know this all for sure I won't forget your last betray I'll never forget this day False alarm guys, it actually is open. We got our times wrong. We thought because it was already 11 o'clock we figured it was just closed but they don't open until 12. So we are going to go on it. You have the option of either doing a swinging or stationary cart. We're gonna do the stationary because I haven't been on one of these in a while and I'm afraid I'm gonna get nauseous when I'm up in the air. Good thing there's no height requirement for her. I'm gonna throw my memories away Now I feel I'm done And I'm cursed by every day Till my time We're at the very top of the Ferris wheel right now uh, I've never felt this way before Round number two And now I know this all for sure Oh my god, the one in front of us looks like it's gonna hit us And now I know this all for sure I won't forget we did not go the same one. I would be petrified. Don't forget your last betray. I'll never forget this day. How was it? It was good. I haven't been on probably like 15 years. Um, the ride wasn't too long, probably about like eight minutes or so. We went around the entire thing twice. The views are really cool. You got to see everything. You got to see all of the rides. You got to see the whole shore and the boardwalk. So it's definitely, I feel like, worth the money just to get the experience. It's something that I've always wanted to go on. I always look at it every time I'm here, and I never actually did it. So this was fun. It's been forever since Alex went on it, so we had a good time. Oh, I did that once before. That looks so cool. poster of what Coney Island looked like July 4th, 1935. This is insane. to cut our Coney Island adventure a little bit short today, but we will be back. We're gonna go on more rides next time. We have to head out into Manhattan because we have an appointment to get to for three o'clock right now. It's almost like 1.15. So we gotta head over there. It'll probably take about 45 minutes. Hopefully if there's no traffic. Right across.
across the street from the parking garage, so we're gonna get a bite to eat there. We've actually only had it once before, ironically enough. I feel like everyone's obsessed with it, everyone eats it all the time. We just never really got into it, but we're gonna have that. I don't even know what I'm gonna order. Hopefully something good. a ton of people doing it. A friend of ours contacted us and he's actually a cryotherapist and so he wanted us to try it out, see how we like it. There's supposed to be a ton of different health benefits. Once we get there, I'll try getting more information because personally, I don't even know that much about it. A lot of professional athletes have been doing it. A lot of big name actresses and actors. And I've also been seeing different people doing it on YouTube. I've actually been dying to try it out, so it'll be fun. I'll take you guys along. This will be my first experience. I don't know what to expect. It's gonna be very, very cold. Should be there in a few minutes. on my body six days a week. I'm lifting heavy. This is the perfect thing to just get 
the blood flowing throughout my body and just helping myself ultimately recover and just alleviating all the stress that I put on myself on a daily basis. If you guys are ever in New York City and you're interested in trying it out, I'll leave the address in the description box below. Ask for Josh. He's amazing. He will hook you guys up. Also, a wide array of celebrity clientele such as Ben Stiller, Russell Simmons, Travis Barker, so it's really cool. The environment there is just so positive. All the walls are white, which is something that I love. It just puts you in like just a happy and just like restful mood. I especially love the facial because it was just the coldness on my face was super relaxing. I started falling asleep, not gonna lie. I was just like in another world. I really expect it to be a lot colder throughout that entire process, but surprisingly it wasn't too bad. Alex had it done to his lower back and how did that feel? Oh, good, actually, because I get back spasms. Thanks, Josh, for hooking us up. Yeah, we want to thank Josh so much. It was so kind and sweet of you to invite us. Just paid for parking, now we're waiting for our car. The only thing is, this is rush hour, so fingers crossed we don't have too much traffic going on. Thank you. Today truly was an incredible day. I tried so many new things for the very first time. I went to the pier, which I've never done before. I went on the Wonder Wheel, and most importantly, I tried out cryotherapy. And every time I do something for the very first time, I get this feeling of just excitement inside, and I just feel amazing afterwards. My message to you guys is to do as much as you possibly can. Do not fear the unknown. Do not be afraid to just step outside of your comfort zone and just try something. Go somewhere that you've never been, that you've been dying to go to, or just anything in life, whatever it may be. Go out there and do it. Thank you.